Um, and then the last question is, is there any government funding available to help clean up the lake? And I think Joe addressed it to some extent. We did actually make a grant application a while back, but when we uh, told them that it was just for the community, they told us that we wouldn't really be eligible for the grant. It would have to be open uh, to all residents of the state in order to be eligible for the grant. And, and we knew that that was not something that the um, residents, or at least everybody that's spoken to it so far, uh, has not been interested in creating a recreational facility that would be open even to the town at large. Um, forget about you know the county and the state at large. So, uh, and we understand that you know the the dynamics behind that. We understand you know why the community wants to have something for just their own community and not something that's you know open uh, on a broad on a broad basis. Um, so. Um, would we continue to look for funding? Of course we would. Um, we, we certainly, you know, we'll, we'll always do that, but we, we understand also the dynamics as to why the community um, is interested in, in the property for their own purposes. And there have been uh, discussions lately by um, different people of setting up different funds to help uh, lake districts and things like that. So, you know, that's not to say that there wouldn't be something, you know, down the pike that would work and 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 that we would we would look to you know to take advantage of that so um, I think that that uh, answers the, the questions that that have been asked with regard to uh, you know what happens to those properties but I, I, I want to make two things clear one is that this petition that's been submitted is about the lake it's not about either of the other properties those properties would remain uh, in the ownership of the UOA and um, I don't know if there's anybody here that's not from Shenorock, but uh, it is the, the, the cost of the district would be borne by Shenorock and the residents in the district. It would not, like the water district, the costs associated with it are borne by the people in the district. So would the park district be borne by the people in the park district, and they would be the only people that would be entitled to enjoy the benefits of it as well. So I hope that answers those questions.